Today you look at his subscribers. I mean amazing and look at your channel. It's nothing. I mean you suck. Your channel is nothing compared to his channel. Wow. Look at these people how they are living the life. I mean everyone is enjoying. I mean bikes and uh, great food and uh, vacations and great lifestyle. They are so lucky. Oh look at these cars. I mean amazing. Wonderful cars. Even they have jets also. Look at my car. I'm very unfortunate. I mean my car is not good. They have a better car. Oh, this guy is richer than me. Look at his money. Look at his success. He's so happy. I'm so miserable. Oh, my life sucks. How was this? This happens with you? I guess this happens with everyone. I mean, we have that uh, what I can say, like innate tendency to compare ourselves. We compare ourselves with our friends. We compare ourselves with our neighbors, and mostly we compare ourselves with our close relatives. But that circle, you know, we we compare ourselves. And as it is said by uh, Roosevelt, that if you compare, joy is gone out of your life. The more you compare yourself, the more depressed you will be. So I'm going to give you some very simple tips to, if you can adapt that. That will be a great thing for you, and you can reduce your comparison. Very simple things are there. They will help you a lot. Be mindful uh, while uh, walking through the day. I mean, see, suppose you're driving through an affluent neighborhood. What happens when you see those cars and those security and that big bungalows and huge walls? That upscale neighborhood is there you start comparing yourself and you start feeling low about yourself be mindful and tell yourself oh i'm comparing i'm comparing catch yourself so first step is catch yourself when you start comparing yourself with anyone this is the first step second step very important step is be realistic be realistic look at the reality what you think is not the reality what you think is unrealistic it's not true you are comparing your inner with someone's outer on instagram what do you do i mean on, on facebook what do you do especially on instagram and facebook on these social media platforms people show their exterior how happy they are the holidays they are taking uh, or for example uh, you know they have a new bike and car and all that stuff they want to show the exterior side of of their personality have you shown anyone seen anyone showing some dark side of their life some sad events of their life on social media never but the reality is everyone is facing troubles problems issues in life but you don't see that just now while doing the shooting just which you saw in the first clips i saw one very famous industrialist with his son and with his you know a private jet uh, of course I started comparing myself with him. Really, I mean, while shooting this, and then I told myself, I can't do that. I can't do that. There is no point in comparing because my life is my life, and what they show is not true. There are a lot of issues which they are facing, which they don't show. So don't compare your internal side, your interior, with someone's fake exterior. Keep this thing in mind. Now, usually comparison is done mostly in terms of money. Also, of course, we compare our looks. We compare our uh, you know, intelligence, we compare our job, but money is one of the uh, areas where we compare a lot. And I'm not, it's not, a, it's, it's, it's like cliche, I know that. Let me tell you what research says. Money will take your happiness level up to a certain extent. Yeah, money will make you happy and safe, but beyond that, money will never make you happy. So if you think that more the money, more happier, no, yeah. Up to a certain level, your happiness will go up and then it becomes a plateau, it becomes stationary, it doesn't improve. This is a research being done and that is really true actually. Even I have experienced that. So don't compare your money with anyone else. In fact, 
in the research it was found that people who are living in poor neighborhoods are more happier because they share their food they share their resources they share their money also and they do not have that kind of uh, uh, dividation or that kind of uh, uh, stigma or that kind of status which is usually seen in middle class or upper middle class they share everything and they never feel like they don't have enough money they are having a great time over there and last thing i want to say here is compare your good things i mean if someone is uh, more hard working definitely compare yourself with that person compare your virtues compare uh, if someone is more disciplined compare yourself with him uh, with him if someone is more generous more kinder compare yourself with him these things must be compared and you have to raise your level you have to raise your bar if you are not comparing these things you will never grow in life if someone is better than you in english communication yeah get inspired and i want to be like him tell yourself so guys this is all about comparison so i'm sure that next time you will be stop comparing and enjoy your life because your life is your life don't compare your life with anyone live your life enjoy your life and most important compare yourself with your old self with yesterday and try to be better compared to yesterday when you do that you'll be surprised others will compare themselves with you and they will be depressed and tell them not to compare them with you okay take care and bye bye